Come all you Christians, answer my question. Why do the people sleep in the streets? Why do the houses fall on the children? Two little children out buying sweets. Farther along, farther along, farther along we'll understand all. Maybe there's someone who can explain it. Why these old houses happen to fall Farther along, farther along Farther along we'll understand all Mrs. Healy, you are somebody who's very interested in uh, itinerance and the problems of the settlement of itinerance. Now, would you tell us uh, briefly, what are their housing problems? Yes, well, their housing problems at the moment are uh, very drastically in need of some sort of help because they have nothing except these makeshift huts which we have got for them. We put in an ad and we got a very good response. People offered corrugated iron and old packing cases, doors, bits of boards. They went along and collected them, the itinerant men, and they put up these little shacks. Now, a lot of them have caravans, wagons, as they call them. But those that haven't, well, they're kind of in a pretty bad way, really. And some of them are actually on the grass in these little rag tents, as they call them, with nothing but straw under them. We've been able to get the majority of them off the grass and into these makeshift shacks. But that is only an expedient, as you will realize, and there's an awful lot more to be done. I think prefabs are, are the answer for a while, until they're finally integrated into society. But what other problems arise out of this lack of housing? Oh, well, of course, there's exposure to the elements. The children, of course, God love them. They have actually no shoes of this, in this kind of weather. And you can imagine what that does to them. And they get chest ailments, pneumonia, and things of that nature. They're not as prone to them, maybe, as we would be if we lived under, under those conditions. They're a little bit hardier, but they do need shelter. Apart from the fact that they're, uh, you know, I suppose a bit untidy, if you like. They leave the old rags and things around the place. Naturally, they've no place to put them. They can't be blamed for these things, really. They've no place to put them. They collect rags. That's their only means sometimes of getting a few shillings to keep the children in food and that. And they have to leave them around of necessity. Well, uh, health hazards, I suppose, are largely mentioned, but so far there never has been an epidemic known to arise on these places. Well, has there been any increase of vandalism or so forth in the neighbourhood where they have gone? I don't think so. I really don't. I think it's exaggerated. By and large, these people are very well behaved, very nice, ordinary Irish citizens.